I'm taking nominations for Carla's Betrothed. You can either make a sim and tag it as charity codes and leave a comment that you've made a sim with your gallery ID. If you would like to nominate any of the sims that you've seen so far, just leave a comment and I will put them on the poll. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims where we try to reach max level in every career, earn all the degrees, max every skill, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Now, Carla is just completing her prank day goal, and we also have to go to the bot savants in a few minutes. So she's done with being a vampire, and she's a werewolf. So we want to complete the werewolf aspirations, but we also want to work on the university degree aspiration. I kind of forgot about that one last time, and we need to do it before I complete all of the university degrees. Although that's probably not going to be an issue anytime soon. And for all my Super Sim fans out there, don't forget that the new poll is out. So if you'd like to see more episodes of Super Sims, please don't forget to vote in the pinned post. And also, I'm taking nominations for Carla's Betrothed. So basically, we have to have at least one sim that we get married to for one of the aspirations. So if you would like, you can either make a sim and tag it as charity codes and leave a comment that you've made a sim with your gallery ID, and I will look for it. Or we can vote for one of the sims that is currently in the series and if you would like to nominate any of the sims that you've seen so far just leave a comment and i will put them on the poll oh and since we joined the bot savants we're working on our robotics skill now and we're also going to buy the foxbury university apparel so now we'll introduce ourselves to the spirit squad and we'll ask to join them all right, and we're already a member of the Order of Enchantment, so we don't have to rejoin, but we do have to make our way back up to senior member. And we're a senior member now. That is really easy. Just spam a whole bunch of those socials. All right, good. We got the full moon credit. I was worried that we were not going to get that. Which one should we do first? Um, we're obviously doing Cure Seeker last. So let's try Emissary of the Collective because that one is really, really annoying. You actually have to be a good vampire and sometimes that's difficult. All right, we're about to join the Collective and the last thing that we're doing is sparring with Christopher. Now, I don't expect her to win, but she just has to demonstrate that she can spar in order to get into the pack. Maybe we'll uh, try to immediately take over. I mean, Carla is really good at fighting. No, she lost. Okay, so yeah, we should not try taking over yet. I almost didn't realize I have three classes on Monday. That is just weird. Normally it's two and two, but this time it's three classes on Monday. So I almost missed my metal class, but luckily I was able to go in time. Well, luckily, one of our good friends is already in the Brady Axe. I don't know where I met this person, but we're going to be able to join right away. So this is going to sound crazy. I know we're friends and all. Well, okay, here it goes. I have a crush on you. You, okay, it's out there. Um, So would you like to go out with me sometime? You're super cool. I really want to hang out with you more. I have no idea who this person is. I wish it would at least tell you the name. I guess we'll say, of course, let's go on a date. And maybe this will be one of the choices to pick for our someday maybe person. If I can figure out who they are. Oh, Caitlin. Okay, Caitlin Zoo. Is this the werewolf that we saw at the bar? No, it can't be the werewolf at the bar because we knew that she was a mixologist. Where did we meet Caitlin? I don't even know. Okay, and by the way, for the person that we're going to marry and use for our soulmate aspiration, we will eventually have to break that person's heart because we're going to basically remain single and loving it. So don't pick someone who you like, I would say. Let's pick someone that you either hate 
or don't mind eventually breaking up with. Okay, because Carla is not going to be attached to someone forever. She's going to be single and loving it for the rest of her life. Oh, yard bombing the statue also gives you knitting skill. That's interesting. Just pranking the rival's arena as well. And I don't think we can take a selfie with the mascot, unfortunately, unless it is a Foxberry Spirit Squad event. All right, class is at 11 a.m., but we're just trying to get some tutoring students done, and maybe we'll take a couple of skills class for our mixology. Oh, we tutored one student. Oh, crap. We got to go to class. I didn't realize it was that late. Always go to class from home because you immediately go there instead of having to find the building wherever it is. All right, we'll go to office hours this time because we can only do that between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Okay, she's asking us out on a date now. I'm kind of busy. So maybe later, I mean, I'm going to put you on the options, I guess. I don't know who she is. If anybody wants to go back in the previous episodes and try and figure out where we met Caitlin, I mean, it may not have been in the recorded videos or not. Uh, just let me know, where did we meet her? If anybody would like to clip that, that would be great. Well, it is fight day. I mean, I get tired of spamming the same thing over and over again, so we'll just complete the holiday first. Okay, we did reach level 10 of the arts critic career. So it's time to switch careers. Okay, the next one is the painter career, because we can be a patron of the arts. Oh, we have a neutral reputation. Well, that just sucks. I mean, it's hard when you're making friends to avoid gaining reputation. Well, we're just boring Yezania with our werewolf ambassador task by repeating the same thing over and over again. It's okay because I don't care if I lose relationship with her. Oh, look, Yezania is also part of the spirit squad. Well, isn't this a small world? Okay, I need to taunt a rival, but all of these people are Foxberries. If I can taunt about university superiority to a Foxberry student, because I used to be part of the Brightchester Spirit Squad, does that work? Yes, okay, that is a bug, but hey, I don't care because it is really hard to get rival students. Because you don't know who's who. I still need to find the mascot. I wish he showed up to bar night, but he doesn't. Alright, there's really no other way to raise our spirit squad experience unless we wait till the weekend, I guess. Alright, we are a seasoned member of the Brainiacs. Alright, we are a senior member of the Brainiacs, so we no longer have to go to those events. Now we just have to do the bot savants and the spirit squad. All right, we have Max relationship with Alice now. So I guess we're going to put our very happy chicken in the Finchwick Fair competition this weekend and hope for the best. I don't see the mascot anywhere, so I don't think I'm going to be able to gain very much experience in the spirit core. It's kind of disappointing. I think you get experience by doing juice pong. But I think it only works when you start the game. What if I cancel and just start it over and over again? Uh, that didn't really give me anything. I think the juice pong works better. It only gives you a teeny tiny bit too. That's disappointing. Oh, final grades are A+. Okay, so we did hopefully get that part of our aspiration completed. And we did. Okay, so we just need to tutor one more student and we can go to the next level of the academic aspiration. Okay, I won Juice Pong. Do I get any extra credit for actually winning? No. Okay, we finished that. Now, all we need to do is contribute knowledge on a research archive machine and get a job using a degree. Technically, we've already done that, but we are going to do that many more times, so I'm not worried about it. We're going to explore the underground tunnels because this is a way to get around Moonwood Mill 
First, you pick one of these and you never pick Find the Fresh Air first. I'm going to follow the magical melody first. Okay, and following the yummy scent will send you to the underground tunnel. That is not what I really wanted to do. Okay, following the magical melody again. Okay, then we find the fresh air and it gives us an exit. And we have to do that once for each of the magical melodies, navigating the debris and finding some kind of garlic, something about garlic. Oh, I'm supposed to be at work. Whoops. I did not know that. Fine, I'll go to work. Since it's Saturday, it doesn't matter. I can actually go to work and I'm, ooh, 200,000 from investing? I keep forgetting that that happens. Carla has about 30 minutes free time at lunch. How should she spend it? Go to the gym or read blogs for career advice. Ah, uh, I have no idea. Let's read the blogs. Oh, we got a performance gain of medium. All right, well, hopefully we should get promoted. And we're on Moonwood Mill collective notice. Whoops. We need to be diplomic. Um, I have been dipl diplomic. Oh, well, I guess we'll uh, exercise werewolf empathy. All right, we are on vacation, even though tomorrow can be a work day as well. But we need to get all our, all our schoolwork done, and I don't want to forget about it for tomorrow. So we're on vacation for tomorrow. We want to bribe our boss for job performance yes. <laughs> and then also Voice give him whistle. some more bribes. Um, do we have negotiate? Oh, we have convince boss. Okay, we'll try that just because that gets your performance up so much better. All right, so we should get promoted hopefully next time as well. We have a full bar of performance and then hey we did not get promoted why did we not get promoted i guess because we went in late Ugh. oh well all right i thought we got promoted to level nine but we did not so our performance bar was already max oh great the chickens are unhappy because the coop is dirty what has my ranch hand been doing i have been cleaning this coop out every single time and there are nine eggs no, don't go in there. Don't go in there, Alice. Okay, I think I got it clean before she went in there. Should we use the golden egg instead of the chicken? Maybe we stand a better chance of getting first prize with the golden egg. I think I'm going to actually use the golden egg because I have found in the past that whatever I use for the Finchwick Fair, I am not going to get it back. I did not get my llama back. Cloudy is gone. So that's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. I'd rather lose an egg than a chicken. Okay, we'll submit our excellent golden egg. And we also have to make friends with the mayor. Oh, she doesn't like us. Maybe that is why she did not pick us for the winner. Okay, she knows us and we're friends now. I'm not sure if it matters if we're good friends. But I don't really want to stop her from judging the event. So maybe I'll take a look at my competition entry. Well, and while we wait, we will do our homework and do our presentation. Now we're going to miss out on the organizational events. So that's a little bit sad. There's one going on right now. And that's probably where we need to take our selfie with the mascot. Okay, the Fenchwick Fair is almost over. And several people have said our egg is exemplary. And I, well, it's over actually. I don't see it. Do we get credit or not? I forget when it gives you the credit. Maybe 11 p.m.? Let's see. I did not get a notification for any sort of prize or no prize. Okay, I think it bugged out. Either that or it's not over until midnight. Well, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.